Dr. Hoover here with Soma Integrative Medicine, and I'm here to talk to you about the top three things you should ask before you start Tai Chi. Number one, is it safe? Yes, we can move on. Number two is who should, who should practice Tai Chi? At our free community Tai Chi class that we provide every week that we've been doing for over 10 years, we found that it's best for everyone. We have infants, toddlers, children, uh, people of all ages, older adults, uh, people with various uh, abilities. Um, some of our students and instructors use a cane. Don't use a cane. Sit down, stand up. What I want you to get is Tai Chi is for everyone. It's about using your own body, wherever it is in its development, or if there's a breakdown, and how to optimize that. How if I'm walking with a cane, I'm an older adult perhaps, or I have a fresh new injury, can I just be reminded to sit up straight and then move with grace and calm? For the children, just for a moment, if they can stop uh, looking at one of these screens here and look up and then with mommy or daddy, just do a little bit of wave hands and play and see that there's a world beyond looking at the screens. And what that does is help shift their nervous system. And uh, the other thing I wanna point out, because it's for all people, it's a journey. There, there's levels in Tai Chi, you know, you could call it beginner, intermediate, advanced, but what's beyond advanced? Maybe master? What's beyond master? Maybe grandmaster? Uh, it just goes on and on. Tai Chi, like life, is a journey, and if you use this as a tool to refine yourself, to get you centered, get you balanced, give you a healthy way to have a, a, a weight-bearing exercise to build your bones, it's a beautiful thing. So when is the best time to start Tai Chi and for whom? It's now and it's for you. Bring your family and friends too. Now the third thing is what should you ask before you start Tai Chi? Well, which Tai Chi? There's so many. You've got Yang style, Chen, Wu, and something else I heard or saw on the internet. I don't think it really matters which style you choose. It's how you approach the art. Finding a qualified instructor is really the key. You take two students, one does Yang style, which is what we teach, another does Chen style. If the instructor is really there for you and helping to discover what's available in your Tai Chi, it can manifest with Yang style, Chen, Wu. Uh, so I really want you to not have finding the right Tai Chi, the perfect Tai Chi, be a, a, um, a barrier for entry. Once you get started, you're not gonna stop. So choose wisely. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about health, Tai Chi, and how to have a, a balanced life, get out of pain, into balance, and back to play, hit the subscribe button right here. There. See you next time.